What's up guys? I just finished my own workout and I realized something I haven't talked with you guys about is shoulder stiffness. When you start punching in a training session then after you say, oh my gosh, my shoulders are sore. Or you're starting a training session and you go to rotate them and they hurt. So we're gonna talk today about five exercises, three of them that you do by yourself, two of which you do with a partner that'll take away those aches and pains and loosen your shoulders up so you can just let them fly and not always feel fatigued. So some of these exercises, these stretches are gonna look a little bit funny, but just bear with me, try them out, make sure you actually give them a shot before you disregard them because they really do work. And shoulder fatigue has been one of the main sort of crippling factors in my career. When I go into hit pads, do my sessions, and my shoulders just get so tired, not in the sense that I can't hold them up, but just in the sense that they're so locked up and tight. So I had to learn what stretches I was gonna utilize. So the first one that I do very often, this is very simple, most people do this. I put my hand on my elbow and I let gravity do its thing. So now from here, I don't really have to put a lot of pressure with my hand. It just kind of does it for me. Now, instead of just pulling in and holding, what I do is I grind up and then down. And I'm just trying to hit all the different points of the shoulder and I just roll it up and down and up and down. And I just find that one really helps to loosen up maybe about 30 seconds of that on each arm. And it just makes such a difference on the outside muscles right in that area, just to loosen things up. I suggest doing every exercise I show you guys today at the beginning and the end of each training session. Now let's move on to stretch number two. So stretch number two is one that I just sort of stumbled on by accident and it really made a big difference. What we do is we put our heels right into the glutes. We put our hand right up to the side and make sure your angle is correct. We wanna have it right out, not low, not high, just a direct 90 degree angle. Now once I've accomplished that, I flip onto my side. Now from here, I'm gonna put my hand on top of the fist and I'm just going to push it down. And this one just is a whole new level of stretching and pain. I can only go to about there initially. So what I actually end up doing now is I push my hand that direction with this arm that's stretching as I resist with the other. I hold for five seconds, four, three, two, one, and then I release. I don't have any resistance anymore. And now look, I can drop that much further. That's me maxed out again. I go five seconds, five, four, resisting, 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 relax, get that extra little drop. And this one just helps so much. It gets so deep, so deep that sometimes it actually makes me feel a little nauseous. Now this next one is a stretch that I actually saw on a yoga series. I'm not actually that big into yoga. I have so many other things I already do. I don't really have time to do a whole bunch of it, but I've done about six different lessons before. And one of the ones that I saw once was taking the knuckles and I place them against the hip. I hook my elbow on the inside and I pull it across. It actually feels very similar to the motion we just did. But one that I really like is utilizing both of them. And like I said at the beginning of the video, some of these are gonna be a little funny. They look a little goofy, but I hook one. I let my body weight fall forward. I hook two. I might have to widen my knees out. And then I push both of them in at the same time. And oh my gosh, that stretch right now is so intense, but I know it'll help my shoulders in the long run. And it just makes a world, just a world of difference. And I just hold this for about 30 seconds. I can let my arms go completely relaxed. If you don't have a partner to work with, this is what you need. Just silly looking drills like this. Although you might not wanna do this at the gym because people are gonna look at you like you're crazy. So I do this very often on my own. Just hang out, hold it. It's usually the last one I do because I don't have the flexibility in the shoulders to do this first. I need the first couple for warmups. Now let's move in to two partner exercises which have also helped me out so much. Now very often in between pad work rounds, I get that shoulder exhaustion. It's just more like a lactic acid buildup as opposed to my shoulders aren't conditioned. And what my trainer or one of my pad holders actually started doing years ago was awesome, feels so good, is we only have, at least for me, in between pad work rounds, 30 seconds. So instead of me trying to, you know, quick stretch, quick stretch, he would just run over, he'd grab my arm right at the glove or right above the wrist if you don't have gloves on, and he would just give it a shake, just a little 
a little shake up and down, and it feels so good, and it loosens up that arm. And I would love when he would come over. He'd just blast off 10 seconds on one arm, grab the other arm, he'd give me a little 10 second shake, and it was just crazy how much it helped and just loosened everything up so that next round I wasn't feeling that massive shoulder tightness, stiffness, fatigue. So if you're gonna do this for somebody, you just lock onto the wrist, make sure you give a little bit of, just a tiny little bit of a pull. As soon as she just pulls a little bit, I can already feel everything in there stretching. And then you just let your body go nice and loose and they just do it a consistent wobble up and down and that's it. And just even now I'm just going, oh, it just feels fantastic, stretches everything up, not just in the shoulders, but right down the entire arm. If you keep that little pulling pressure and it'll just make a world of difference. And like I said, it feels amazing. And the last partner drill that I have, which helped me so much is taking your palms. And a lot of people won't even be able to do this aspect, but they just connect their palms together. Now, once you've connected your palms together, your partner's going to come behind you. They're going to just make sure your fingers don't come apart or your palms come apart and they're going to slowly lift. And you try to keep your arms as straight as you can. And most people, some people max out right around here. You can keep going, sweetie. Some people go up to head level, depending on their shoulder flexibility. For me, I find right about, keep going, keep going, right about there. Oh, I start to feel that stretch. Now I could just lean forward and now it goes away. There's no stretch anymore. So I try to stay straight and then I can tell her to lift it up, maybe straighten my arms out a little more. Your partner can also keep an eye on your symmetry. Yes. Between your shoulders and elbows. That's a good and point. And if you're kind of extra tight on one side, it's yeah. going to display in this Because you would be able to balance, to, to offset it by leaning yeah. to one side. So just right in there. And then again, same thing, a lot of stretches you need to hold for over 30 seconds, which is, that, that's why it's nice to have a partner. They're just counted out and you have nowhere to run and you're just stuck. And if you want to, you sort of stick your belly button out, straighten out that spine. And remember when you're stretching, to just breathe deep. All right guys, so those are the stretches that you should be doing to help ease off that shoulder fatigue. If you have a lovely wife or girlfriend at home, I'm sure they'll help you. That's a nice one too. Just that's a massage, I guess. But it's not gonna stretch, but it just feels fantastic. I'm gonna go, ah. But try to make sure, I'm losing focus on the episode. <laughs> try to make sure that you do these exercises before and after you do your training sessions and maybe on your days off, very important, maybe Sunday comes, you're going, oh, the shoulders are tight. Take 10 minutes, go through the exercises I said today, they will help you so much and they will just make the next training session that much more enjoyable. Guys, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like if you haven't already. Join the channel and get subscribed. As always guys, train hard and see you back here soon for another video.